Hello guys, welcome to another video. So sorry that I've been gone a while, but I have been away and I have been waiting for parts. You probably already know what this video is going to involve with the title, but I have been waiting over two weeks for this part. This part. Um, hardly anywhere had it. And then when they did, they had to order it in, and anyway. So yeah, so some exciting news today. I'm going to attempt to fit this gigantic Aprilia RS125 front wheel, huge disc brake, um, to my Suzuki GN125 frame. But it's not just the wheel, it's the forks as well. Only thing I've noticed with this one is it's not doing what a fork should do. So this is going to need rebuilding. Got another one that does work just to show you. I can't. That's it. Um, yeah, so the reason why I decided to upgrade the front end is purely because. I've always wanted this bike in particular to have far better brakes than what it had as standard. They were known for being lousy and I thought Cafe Racer, you want the performance behind it, I'm not planning on racing it but I like the idea of knowing that I don't have to brake so soon now because I have the big, the big disc and the calipers over there, the twin caliper twin piston caliber um, so yeah so I've been waiting for parts to come they've all finally come all this is all second hand I've had to buy part by part I've had to look online to try and get what measurements for bearings will the actual don't fit in um, so far I've not actually tested it to see if it will all work the only progress I've made is fitting the top bearing onto here. As you can see, this whole stem has a little lip towards the end and at the bottom of the bearing to sit on. Don't know if you can see it closer at the bottom there. It just comes out just ever so slightly. The bearings that I'm using are actually from the Suzuki brand new because the ones that came with it completely shot. In order for me to get the top bearing on I've actually had to grind back ever so slightly. You might not be able to see it but you can see the shimmer where it's sort of cleaner compared to the rest of it and that now fits on so that can go up the bike. So yeah, fingers crossed this all works. Fingers crossed this video can go out because it works. Um, I just want to give a little shout out to another cafe racer builder who's currently on YouTube. Goes by the name of Jish. If you've not seen it, check out his channel. He's part of the inspiration as to why I'm fitting this bad boy because I've seen him do it. Um, it looked like it was a bit of hard work for him, so I'm, I'm hoping it's not for me. Um, but yeah, just to be able to get this big brake on, to be able to brake better, and just the look of it, I'm, <laughs> I'm in love with the size of that brake compared to the original. Nice chunky tyres, oh, upside down forks as well. Let's crack on. Need to get closer. There we go. Forgot to mention just previously that I've actually already fitted these rings in top and bottom um, just to sort of test fit them first. I kind of cheated and didn't go for the, the put it in the freezer bit. Actually used quick freeze, instantly frozen, shrank enough down for me to be able to just 
knock it in, tap it in. So they fit, they are off the Suzuki. Again, all brand new. Um, let's do it. So I'm about to fit this on now. Take the top bearing off. Bottom one is on. Again, I forgot to mention. On the Aprilia bearing, there was a tiny bit of metal still left around. So I've had to actually cut that off to be able to fit this new bearing on. Um, so far that has been the only difficult job. So I'm going to try it. Well, it goes in. As you can see, you can see it definitely goes in. A bit of excess, I'm hoping I don't have to cut any of that. Putting the dust seal over it now. I believe that's the order. And then there's a big old washer. And then the bit that has delayed me doing any of this, which part has just come today. Uh, the locking wheel nut, I believe it's called. Um, So far it is fitting and I'm really excited. <laughs> this will just be a huge improvement on the bike. Stay. Little tool just to tighten it up. There's obviously also a reason why I've not actually greased up the bearings yet because I am test fitting it. There's no point in greasing them up if they're not going to fit. But it looks very promising. Should be. I've got nothing on the frame at the moment, so I'm using the seat that you can see there just to prop it up against the wall. Well, it is turning. Obviously, it should be a lot easier with handlebars. That all looks good. Get the top yoke on. This single bolt here was a tenner. How did it make these prices? I assume that's all we need. I can't believe how pain-free this has been so far. This, this is crazy. Alright, um, just the fox now, isn't it? Currently got the camera just resting on the bike. So, as I mentioned about these, everything is second-hand. Um, obviously come off. A wrecker's bike. So you can see this easily compressed. This is obviously all going to get completely serviced, redone. But if you also notice, scuff marks, um, paint on here is not looking the best. All going to get redone, but just for the purposes of now, it's all just going to, fingers crossed, fit. I'm going to attach these to the front wheel first and then I can't see any reason why it won't 
fit on because these are made for those yokes, aren't they? to get a garret at a hammer. Be right back. After a bit of gentle persuasion, it is now all on. Gonna fit it to the yolks. Oh, I can't get over how excited I am. Anyway, crack on. Gotta find a good angle now. Back up there. Hey. They line up like that. That's in, isn't it? It's in. So I've got just one final job, putting these screws into here and on the other side as well and that should lock everything in. I'm just going to finger tight everything in for now because it's all going to be coming out again so I can paint everything. Fix that fork. Oh, that's just that has improved the look of this bike, the performance, and just my love for it. Like, <laughs> I'm just in awe of this bike now. It's only a frame engine over there, but this is a huge improvement, and it's something beyond what I was planning on doing but it's just so excited I've got handlebars coming they're not cheap second hand they're going for about 25 to 30 pound per side managed to get left and right for 25 pound I did all right <laughs> This fit on. Those bolts. Hmm. 
Ta-da! There it is with the brake caliper on. I realised that I actually had the forks on the wrong way around, so I've took it all apart again, put it back on. Everything's just on finger tight at the moment. But yeah, look at that. Is that not a beauty? So guys, that is the end of this. Thank you so much for watching. If you could leave a like, that would be really great. I think this video will do well. I think a lot of people are interested in fork conversions and this is one of them. It's also a pretty big deal to me. Um, now I have got, while I've been waiting for part two, I've been doing some shopping for the bike. Right under here I have something that I I'm tempted to show you. Only concerns is I'm wondering if it will fit. Um, I will give you one clue. Ah, screw it, I'll just show you. That is a shock absorber. A single shock absorber. So I think I can leave you with that, use your imagination. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. The build is only going to get better and bigger. Thanks again. Bye bye.